Hello and welcome to this video tutorial today. We're looking at how you can turn an illustration from regular colors into global colors without having to do very much work at all. But before we begin, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. If you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine is better. I also have Illustrator training over at udemy.com and there's a referral link for every one of my courses in the description below. Please feel free to share this with family and friends. Let's swing back to Illustrator where I have a very simple illustration created. Now all of these objects are just filled with regular colors. If we have a look in the swatches palette and as I click on each of these objects, you'll see the color that they're filled with. But in actual fact, these are just regular colors and none of them are global colors. The problem here is that if we wanted to select and recolor things, we'll need to select every instance of that color to recolor them. It would be much easier to work with this illustration if we were using global colors. Sometimes you will decide that that's exactly what you want. And if you, like I have done here, discover that once you've actually created the illustration, here's what you're going to do. We're going to select over the entire illustration and you can do that by selecting with the selection tool or you can choose select and then all. And then we're going to make a color group. So we'll come over here to the swatches panel. If you don't see yours, choose window and then swatches. Down here is a little icon that says new color group. You'll click on that. You're going to give it a name if you want it to have a name. I'll call mine cactus but there's no need to give it a name. That's just fine without, but you will want to select selected artwork and you will want to convert process to global. You can include swatches for tints if you want to. I will, and that would cover it if I had some tints of a color in my illustration. I'll click OK. Here in the swatches palette, you can see the colors that I've used in the illustration. There are a couple of reds on the flowers. Then there are the greens that are used in the cactus and then the browns that are used in the pot. Every one of these is now a global color. You can tell that by this little white triangle in the corner. So what we've done is we've created a color group that is our global colors, but we've done one thing more than that. What's happened is that every color in this image has also been converted to a global color. So when I select over this shape here and I've got the fill targeted, look which color is being selected here. It's the global color. Now the way global colors work is that they let us change the color of things by just changing the color. So let's change the color of our cacti. I'll double click on this color here. That opens the swatch options dialog. Notice that I don't have anything in my image selected at all. I don't have to have anything in my image selected because it's going to work perfectly even if it's not. Let's turn preview on so we can see what we're doing and let's crank up the color on this cactus. And as I do, I can see the color change in the image itself and every single instance of that color in the image is being altered. So if you create an image and realize later on after you've created it that you would prefer to be working in global colors, it's perfectly possible to do so. Simply select your artwork, use the new color group option to create your color group. Not only does that create a color group, but it's also going to convert your artwork into global colors so that you can harness the power of global colors to do your editing. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.